What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and we've been answering the question, why is my computer running so slow? We've been using the process of elimination to figure out what our problem is so we can fix it. If you've reached this video, we've figured out that your processor is actually the bottleneck on your computer. So, in this video, I'll be showing you what a processor is, what a processor does, and also where you can buy a processor so we can get you upgraded and running as fast as you should be. So, let's get started. All right, now let's talk about upgrading your processor. This is probably the most vital part in your computer, although the least likely to upgrade. And the reason I say this is more times than not, you want to do a couple jumps ahead in processors, in upgrading your processor. So more likely than not, you'll upgrade your motherboard along with your processor. Although the first step is finding out what type of processor we have and what type of socket we currently have for our processor. All the socket is is simply the architecture of how the processor connects to your motherboard via the pins and how it fits in there. So that means the socket type is the only type of processor your motherboard will accept. So for instance, I'm using a program called CPUZ and it's a free program on download.com and it allows you to, it'll scan your system and then from that I can see I'm using a socket 1156 LGA. Now if I was looking to upgrade my processor I'd be looking for the types of processors that would fit that socket. So if I was on a website to buy a processor like Newegg.com, which is one of the websites I prefer for my hardware upgrades, and then I'd go to LG1156. These would be the processors that would actually fit currently in the motherboard I have. Like I was talking about earlier, when upgrading your processor, more times than not, you'll make a larger jump in the upgrade for your processor than your motherboard's capable to use. So more times than not, you could be looking for combo, which would be a motherboard processor combo. And some of these combos come with cases or just a motherboard processor, things of that nature. But if you're not able to find the socket type or the information for your processor, you'll want to go to the manual for your motherboard. And those will have the exact type of processor socket that your motherboard will accept. Another thing too, just beyond the socket, there is a physical limitation of what the motherboard can use. So Again, if you have the correct socket, but if you have a processor, a processor that's way too high, you might not be able to use that. You have to double check with your motherboard, with the manufacturer's information from your motherboard. If you have a, a Dell or an HP or something like that, you might want to just go to their website and they'll be able to give you that same information. Now, when taking a look at processors, there are basically two manufacturers, and that's AMD and Intel. I personally prefer AMD just over the years, but it really comes down to who's got the fastest processor for the price I want to pay, okay, let's just say for instance, we'll take a look at this processor right here. Now, when taking a look at the processor, there's a couple things you mainly want to take a look at, and that is, you'll want to see the operating frequency of the processor, you also want to see the cache of the processor, and also if it is, or if it's 32-bit, or if it's a 64-bit processor, because these days you'll definitely want to have a 64-bit processor, being as it's a faster performing processor. Now, one other thing to take note is, you might possibly, depending on how big of a jump you make in processors, you might actually have to upgrade your power supply to be able to power your new processor inside of your computer. Another thing to take note of too is the amount of cores the processor has because you'll have a single physical processor, but some of these processors will have virtual cores inside of them that will be acting as six processors working together. So that's just a few of the items to take note of when looking for your processor. And this is what your processor will look like, pretty much every processor these days, because they don't sell slot processors anymore. Now, front of the processor and the back of the processor. Now, when I was talking about the different formats and form factors, this is what I was talking about, making sure those form factors fit inside of all the pins that are laid out on your motherboard. So, just double checking that. So there you go, you now have a greater amount of information about selecting a processor and which ones you can use, can't use, and how to get one that's fast for your system. Now in this next step, I'll be showing you how to physically remove your old processor and put in a brand new processor. Alright guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware viruses and all that bad stuff on the internet.